Well, hello, welcome back to the homestead. Today we're gonna make a DIY cartridge filter for our stock tank pool. Here's the filter and the pump. And we're gonna go ahead and make it with a one and a half inch PVC pipe to replace the cartridge. Here we are. So we're gonna take the cartridge and we're gonna measure and we're gonna grind and we're gonna get this started right now. There's the cartridge, $25 a piece. Let's make this simple. Now we measured the depth which the PVC should go down in the hole. We did a little bit at a time just to make sure that it was the right depth. Is it fitting? There's gonna be a little bit of a gap there, but it, it goes all the way in. Just got PVC right there. I think that's all the way in. Inch and a half is what we're getting in there, so let's see how far that gets us. Inch and a half. How, many, how far from the bottom? Okay, so that's so where it's not. That's where it's. It's not at. covering the whole hole. Right. So but we need to it's take. It's going to block off. the hole down in, in there. So it's only going to come in there. Three it's not going to go in. So we're going to leave three quarter of an inch of meat here because it's three quarters of an inch from the hole to the top of this. Mm -hmm. Let's burn an inch. So we'll do three quarters of an inch. So we'll stop it here. So we need to make the hole. See, I mean, it's almost, you almost just cut it in half. Like, because that's a pretty big opening there. So I say, I say we do it like this. I'm going to do a quarter of the PVC. Something like that. that sounds good. How about we look and see which measure? part of it has the biggest gap so we can cut. <laughs> that ain't right. That there, folks, is like professional, but not. Okay, can we look in? We can't. Oh, we can look in here. Oh, we gotta take more off. See, it's collapsing more because, because it's pushing in on the yeah. side. Dude, dude, that. put this back in here to hold it for me so I don't get injured. Okay, so we're gonna try to half moon this. So it's evidently it is going deeper now.
perfecto. Money? Looks great. It's fire. Fire. Oh, it needs to go more, doesn't it? No, because it might collapse with the suction. So let's just leave it like that. It's like an eighth of an inch. So please. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what height? Or should we cut it off here? Well, take it out. And let's just measure it to the top of that. Even though that goes on the outside. Go That's going to measure. I just want to see how low it goes. It's going to measure OD. <laughs> just right to the top. That's pretty okay. snug. So then but put that back in and measure it right to the top. Oh, I can put that inside that. Ooh, mark it with your Sharpie. Look at that. They cut it about right here, about that much lower. About a quarter inch or so. Why lower? Because you don't want it too high. You might want your. Oh, see, this actually goes went down inside that. To hold it in place, so yeah, that's what's so going to be gonna lacking. Go. No, it's not going to go inside of that. Right, so we're going to take more off. Yes, that's why I was measuring it. So let's see. So it goes to there. So that is. So that's approximately five eighths of an inch. But I say we take off three quarters at least, Sounds if not great. an inch. Okay. So you can put the. Sounds great, because I got to put string in it, or the uh, screen. I like to put the screen right, so as gonna... far down as possible. I don't think tie. that it matters that it's. Does it? Turn it off. Like Perfect. It'll be forty nine ninety five. Don't pull that. Did you just watch that? I did. You should have done that. Well, that's the ticket right there. Okay, let's go get the screen and the zip tie and the polyfill. Okay, so what we did was we found a piece of screen that we had just laid around the house. Show them the screen. Piece of Not screen. Not really big enough. Not really big enough, but we're still going to give it a try until we can get a bigger piece at the hardware store. So you put a piece of screen on the up side of your PVC. And then you zip tie it on. Okay, we'll get a wide enough piece. For now, we're just gonna try it like this. It's nice and snug. Make sure the hole is where it needs to be. Perfecto. Okay. And now you backfill 
with any kind of filler material. Right now we're just using the insides of an old pillow. Well, not too old, but, and what you do is you put the filter media all the way around. And this screen is so it doesn't pull any of the filter media back in here. So the water will come in, the filter media will pump it out, it'll rise the clean water and it'll suck back through. So we don't make it too... Don't make it too um, compact, but let's make it pretty full. Because once it flows with water, it's gonna get, it's gonna condense and it's gonna get heavy, you know, with the water. So it might kind of go down, especially with the suction. So let's leave the front top part open like so, and I think that's good. What do you think? One more little piece right here. Okay. One more piece right here. Perfect. Okay. So now, yeah. So the next step is let's put that on. Why do you keep touching it? Just make sure it's taunt. It's is it taunt. an OCD it's thing? Taunt. It is taunt. It's taunt. You've got to taunt. Push down. It's easier when it's wet. Isn't that crazy with the O-ring? We need to lube that and it slide down what you do. What I do is I go the opposite way until I like, oh, There you go. Oh, and then you go oh. the correct way. That's how you do it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go over and we'll take this out. We'll pre-fill it so it primes and get it going. Walk it out. Walk, walk it out. That's, that's what spices up your video. Here it goes. Now hit that. Yeah, once you get it plugged in, hit the top button. It's full and primed because I already started to suck the water into it. It's filling. got low pressure on the outrance. Let me feel the good pressure on the in entrance. Feeling the air out? Okay, all the water just came out. No water. This in, that's in, this one in. It's still priming though. It usually takes a minute or two to seriously like to start going. Sometimes I have to lift this up and bring it to this level, and when I go like this and I pull it up with gravity, boom, it puts all the water through the tubes. Lift it up. And I lay that down, okay. Now put it down abruptly. Put it down. Put it down. There's the noise I'm looking for. There's the water I'm looking for. Um, they're not sucking hard. <sighs> Barely anything. Let's see if it'll suck up that grass. We'll suck up that grass. Barely any suction. That's how it was before with the other cartridge. So, hmm. Okay, so I lifted it and made this run flat and abruptly put it down and then of course sat it down softly and boom, it primed. I knew it would prime. Set that suction again. Oh, yep, suck in my hand. Oh, yep, yep, sucking real good. Oh my gosh, it's working. It's working perfect. Look at that flow. 
That is awesome. So we followed all the DIY instructions and it works like a charm. We have so much airflow and water suction that it wasn't like that before. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see how clear the water is and how the flow is. What about you? I did a good job. You did a good job. Love you.